Uh, you wanna see my crib? Oh my gosh. So, this is my house. Welcome. <laughs> this is the foyer. Oh, let's look around. This staircase? Like, are you kidding me? I'm in love. I love it. It really brings out the foyer. It's so amazing. What's so important to me is storage space. So I made sure the house that I bought had storage. We need closets. This right here is the dining room. Obviously, it's quite large. And here are very chaotic clips and videos of the theater. We're leaving her just as she is. We're gonna throw in some nice cozy chairs and a huge TV. Our like main living room. I have so many plans. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys. This transformation, the lighting is Awful. Also, there is no light in here. I mean, I guess the fire light, but <laughs> you know, we have another closet. Bam. It's actually pretty deep in here. Like, I'm thinking this could be a moment, like maybe a kid's play area. I'm not really sure. It has a lot of potential basically and here is the like main floor bath so we have a potty for the guests we love a potty for the guests all right this next room comes in two parts so i'm gonna start with this part this part is like a little breakfast nooky nook so we're gonna have a table for like casual eating like breakfast lunch and um like the kids can eat here. There's a giant window to the deck and then a cute little door. We might need to replace her. But also, it has a pretty good sized pantry. The doors are a little janky. Um, there's a couple things in it. <laughs> but, like it still extends back there. There's a lot of space up. So I have many plans for this pantry and how to Run away. It's very quiet. This is part of the home. This is the kitchen. I truly think I fell in love with the house because of the kitchen. It just spoke to me. It's small, but you have space and it's easy to like keep organized. Like all of this space is in here. We have lots of cupboards because it comes around all on the bottom. And then there's a couple on top. So I am going to be just so happy when we get all the yucky brown out of here. But my favorite part of the kitchen space is right over here by the laundry room, I have a coffee bar. So I'm going to transport this transport transform this corner into like the best coffee bar ever standard garage we are gonna drywall the outline <laughs> the wall and um and probably not do a whole ton in here, but here's the garage. It's a two car. It's gonna fit our cars. Currently, my car is defrosting because it is very stormy outside. Let's let's see. Take a peek out my window. Look how snowy it is. And that's our back deck that I'm gonna have to get to in a different video and show you all the backyard because it's obviously very snow. Oh hey! You found the basement. This is gonna be a transformation. The plan I have for this side of the room is 
so dope. So this little cutout right here, we're gonna build a wall. And then we're gonna make like a little playhouse for the girls. I wanna have something right here. I haven't decided what yet, but then I wanna have a huge rock wall, like a rock climbing wall or an activity sensory wall right there. So excited for that. But this is the main part of the basement. Besides like this whole room's water, heater, gas, whatever. And then there's a bathroom, but this is the biggest part of the room. They left the ping pong table, so it's ours, I guess. And we're gonna put like a couch and a really snug like area in here so we can have game nights and just be really cozy. And I have so many um, ideas for how to make this like, basically a sanctuary for the babies because this is their level because you can't hear their little feet when they're down here. The basement does have a full bath down here. So, you know, we got something going on in here, but um, I don't think I'm gonna renovate it all that much at the moment because it's just the basement bathroom. And, you know, I don't expect people to come down here and shower or like do anything like that. So we have a bathroom. We love it. When I said storage. So we have one little storage room in here. It's like a whole, walk in with shelving. They left all their paint, but I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna go um, recycle that paint and then fill it. That will probably be full of like board games and like entertainment basically, because I just want the downstairs to be like a huge game party <laughs> area. That's not all the storage we have though. <laughs> That's as far as the store will open. A very large area for more storage for like decorations stuff we're not using camping gear i don't camp but we have an area to store stuff and it's actually a pretty good size room on the other side is all like the boring stuff all the boring stuff like every one of these pieces in here is unpermitted and is preventing us from being able to move in thank you so much for that so we have to figure out how to permit everything it's a pain we want the occupancy though. I am glad it happened because now I have chance to kind of tear some walls down and um, paint everything before we move in. Cause right now we're just waiting this storm out for all of the technicians to be able to come. And the final room on the tour de basement is my office. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look like a lot now, but don't you wait and reagans this I cannot wait to throw. You don't even know. You don't even know, you guys. It's gonna be chef's kiss. But alas, we have a very unpermitted electric box that we have to permit. It's, it's just lovely. This is called buying as is. Here is the other half of the stairway and like a little hallway area. Love the chandelier. We're probably gonna replace her. So we have a nice upstairs corridor. Bro, when I say this closet is what dreams are made of, the babies put their stuff in. This linen closet is what dreams are made of. Oh my gosh, it is so big. So there's this huge shelving area right here. And then on the other side, a huge like hanging area so we can hang our coats or something like that right over here and it's got a nice door everything is so beige beige you will probably see this room quite a bit because this room is going to be our guest room slash another studio um, for like lifestyle um get ready with me kind of moments I'm gonna make this into like a really aesthetic filming room, essentially. 
So it's very nice, the natural light coming in is perfect. And I really love the guest room. Also, if you come to visit, this is where you're gonna stay. This is the girls' bathroom. It is pretty cute. It has a tub. I really want to redo those tiling. Um, but it has a really nice tub that's really shallow, perfect for little kids. And then this, I keep calling it the Willy Wonka wallpaper because it literally looks like the paper that they lick in Willy Wonka. And now Juliana's gonna take over to show her room. Tub, you 
guys. Like, how can press shake? Take out the orange, put in some white. Forget about it. Forget about it. Anyway, so we will have a lot of fun get ready with me videos or like what I use to like handle myself. Self care situation is right here. The shower needs more than a deep clean for sure. Thank you. But it's a pretty good size shower. Ew, 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 gross. Ew, I'm gonna get out of there. Um, <laughs> It's a pretty nice size shower. We have a sink and a toilet. I think I might redo this sink because if you can see, it has like all of this space right here. Um, so we could get like a wider vanity with maybe two sinks. So that's what I'm playing around with right now. But that's our master bath. I think it's stunning. I love it. It's bigger than my first apartment. So this like door way portal from the bathroom to the bedroom. Iconic. Like truly iconic. I love her. Yeah.